Hi there, I'm Jennifer Ferguson with Artistic Painting Studio. Okay, um, our texture medium has dried, and just a quick reminder, you guys, you do not need to start on a black base. I did that just for the purpose of making sure you could see the technique, okay? And we gave it a quick sand with some good old 150 sandpaper, okay? And really, all I did was take off the highs, okay? So it's still smooth to the touch, but you haven't lost your texture. Is um, We're gonna almost make it look like we're gonna make this disappear, but we're gonna paint it with Bondego Black. And you can use basically any black paint. This is a primer paint and just makes my job much easier. So at this point, that's all we're gonna do is paint the entire canvas black. And you will still see the texture. So our, all this texture is our background interest to give some kind of pattern and design on every inch of the canvas. And we're going to start the stenciling part of this project so we get to the really fun stuff. Um, we're going to be doing the art of stenciling and I am using um, a Modern Masters metallic paint. This is the silver. Um, and to load your brush, you just want to pick up a little bit of paint. I've poured it out onto, um, this is like a serving tray and I've covered it with a uh, press and seal. Okay, so load some paint onto your brush and then you're going to go over to the paper towel and it, this should seem almost ridiculous that you're really taking almost everything off and you're creating what's called a dry brush. So once you come up to your stencil, you are just going to lightly go over the design. We're just trying to create layered designs on here. So we're gonna have some that are gonna be looking like they're in the background, some in the foreground. Okay, once we have one of the patterns done, then I'm gonna remove Stencil. and we can layer so I'm just positioning these pretty much anywhere I want layering the pattern and I do have a little bit of um, spray adhesive on the back of the stencil so it's helping it to stay in position and then offload it and then because I'm going to bring this one on top I'm going to try to make any of the design that's peeking through disappear. So it'll look like this one's over the top of the other one. And that's why I was starting off with a light touch so I could easily make it disappear. Okay, then once you have this on here, you're gonna peek underneath and check and make sure you've got the contrast. I think I'm gonna build this one out a little stronger up here on top so it pops off of the other one. So I'm even gonna mix a little bit of silver. Okay, so we've got a couple of them started here. So I'm gonna move, oh, this is hung straight. So if you don't have a really good um, eye for making sure things are straight, then definitely go grab a level. Oh my gosh, that silver is such a beautiful color. Okay, we're going to go grab another stencil and continue with us. Okay, we are grabbing another color. This is a new one by Modern Masters called Rose Gold. And we're going to add this for a little splash of color. So I'm using a smaller design. Um, you can also find all of the stencils and the paints and everything and the product list. So make sure to click on that if you want to know all the list of products that I'm using. Okay, nothing too bright, but just kind of blending in. And then let's go ahead and put at least maybe a couple more of these on here. Again, I'm just trying to make sure I'm level. Okay, I've grabbed another stencil design and we're going to do a technique called embossing. So I've already mixed up some product, which is gel medium, which is a clear gel. Okay, it's thick. Um, and I've added white and silver glitter already to it. So we're going to use a different tool to actually apply this over the stencil. Oh, first also, I put stick it spray adhesive on the back. Very important. You want every element of that design to stay in place while you're doing uh, any kind of embossing technique. 
So this is all mixed up. I got this beautiful gel medium that's all glittery, okay? There was a bunch of silver and white glitter in there. And then we're just gonna take the gel medium out of there and the color shaper tool just glides it over those openings. So this goes really easy. Now, once you mix up some kind of a mixture like this, you wanna make sure that you allow it to completely dry so that you can see exactly what it's going to look like when it dries. And don't force it dry because you'll haze it. Come out. And then I try to release the tape first so that we can pop the stencil right off because if it has this spray adhesive on the back, it's sticking. And it makes everything look white to start with, but that's gonna dry clear where all you're gonna see is your white and silver glitter. So we're gonna add a few more of these to the canvas. Just partials, okay? I just want a little bit peeking here and there. And I can also even reuse what's left on the stencil and move that into the openings. Um, you will have to clean this off after about four or five repeats because sometimes it starts to get built up on the top and can actually go to the back especially when we're going over the edge of the canvas okay it's kind of like sn sneaking through um, and then the other thing I like to do is just put the stencils up on some um, packing paper or any kind of paper here and this tool, you can run it across just like you were embossing it, and you can recapture all of that material. So besides this just being a fun project, incorporating texture with the rollers, stencils with different metallic colors, we've embossed the designs, so we got a mixed media project going here. It's not only great for canvas, but you could also incorporate this on furniture, or if you're really ambitious, you could do a complete wall. So thank you for joining me 